Hello people, in today's video, we are going to learn how we can create a speedometer chart in Excel. We will be creating a speedometer chart like this. In order to create this type of speedometer chart, we'll require these values, which is starting from 0 to 25, this portion, then 25 to 50 is this portion and then this portion again will keep it from 25 to 100 and for the pointer we are having these values the value 4 indicates the size of the pointer and 83 which means like suppose my sales has gone till 83 percent then there I'll write 83 and this 117 is equal to 200 minus my target achieved. 200 because the total of all of these values which is 25, 50, 2500 is 200. That's why we'll take it as equal to 200 minus this value which is my target achieved value. Now first of all I'll just delete this. And also let me just change this name and keep it as pointer. These are the values for my pointer. Also let's just change this percentage. Like suppose my sales target achieved is 78%. So according to which this value will also get changed. Let me just delete this and again I'll write 200 minus. I'll select the cell and then enter. This 4 indicates the size of my pointer. Now I'll go to insert in which I'll be selecting a donut chart. This type of chart will get created from the data that we are having. Now here I'll just select the chart, double click. Then in series option, I'll select the series values. First of all, I just want to change the angle. For that, here in angle of first slice, I'll write it as 270 degree. Then after, I'll select this yellow color. And here in the feel options, I'll keep it as no feel. Then I'll be selecting this blue color and I'll change the color and keep it as red. Then I'll select the orange color, make it solid feel and keep the color as yellow. Any yellow color you can choose. Then this gray color I'll be selecting. Again solid feel and I'll change the color to green. Then our next step will be for this pointer. So I'll just right click, change series type, then in combo, in pointer, I'll keep it as pie chart and then click on OK. Then our next step will be in this will be selecting series pointer then I'll go to the series options in which I'll change the angle and keep it as 270 degree then I'll go to this feel option firstly I'll be selecting this blue colored portion and I'll make it as no feel then I'll be selecting this gray color portion and I'll make it no feel then we'll be selecting this pointer and keep it as solid feel and we'll change the color to black. Also we'll be adding the border color, keep it solid line and change the color to black. Also if you want you can increase the width or you can reduce the width. Even you can keep the pointer size 
instead of 4 you can keep it 1, 3, 2, anything of your choice. I just got read of the chart title and the legend. Now I'll go to format and here I'll be reducing the size. I'll keep it as 2 cross 2. Then the next change that I want to make is here I'll go in series option in series values I just want to reduce this donut hole size I'm keeping it as 55% the next thing that I'll be doing is I'll select this chart area and the plot area firstly the chart area and I'll make it no fill then I'll select the plot area and that also I'll make it as no fill in the plot area options you can go from here and we'll make it as no fill also the border I'll make it no fill now we'll add a text box insert text and a text box here I'll be adding a text box where I'll write the percentage which is 78 percent which is my sales target achieved is 78 percent I'll just place it here, rotate it. Then I'll change the color. Here I'm making it as no fill. And I'll just change the font color, the font size, and the font type. And I'll keep it as bold. Then the next thing that I want to do is I also want to add a text box another text box I'll go to insert text and text box and that I'll add here where I'll write my sales actual target that I wanted to achieve was hundred dollars then again for this text box I'll just change the field I'll be keeping it as no field you can position this properly. I'll just make it as no feel. Again, I'll have to reposition this. Now it is correctly placed. Also, I just don't need the borderline of this text box. So right click outline and make it as no outline and feel will keep it as no feel you can even change the font color font type and font size here also for the 78 percent i'll just remove the outline right click in outline make it as no outline now i'll just group these values with my chart click on this then press ctrl then select this and select this right click group and you can group it I can place this chart anywhere I want just select it and you can place it anywhere this is how you can create a speedometer chart in Excel hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you